everyone hope you're all doing well today we are here to talk about battlefront 2 in 2020 this game has recently come out on the xbox game pass ultimate with a bunch of other ea titles and i have to tell you all you need this game in your life now if you like this video please drop it a like and subscribe for more battlefront 2 content when you hear battlefront 2 you probably think of that terrible game that you heard about ridiculous microtransactions that launched in 2017 and you know what? That's fine. Battlefront 2 had one of the worst launches in recent game history. But this game has had a redemption story like no other. Battlefront 2 became one of the greatest Star Wars games to ever be created. EA and DICE continued to provide this game with free updates and content. They reworked the entire progression system so it's no longer a pay to win. And now you can work towards becoming the best fighter in the galaxy. Whether you join the light side and fight for good, or the dark side and destroy those rebel scum. This game has got something for every Star Wars fan. Battlefront 2 is now 3 years old, but it still looks amazing. It is easily one of the prettiest games that came out in the 2010s, and it still only takes me seconds to find a match. Not every mode takes quite that quick, but the major modes like Supremacy, where you capture and hold objectives, then board enemy capital ships and destroy them from the inside, or Galactic Assault where you wage war across a series of large team oriented objective based maps fighting over iconic locations such as Naboo, Endor, the Death Star and Starkiller Base. Like check this out, just as a resistance fighter I held my own against Kylo Ren under the salt fields of Crate then Rey came in to save me. It's just a beautiful like gaming moment and I loved it. Or you can play one of my personal favourite modes at the moment, Heroes vs Villains. I love the fact that uh, this person in front of me playing as Vader did the lightsaber turning on just like me and it just made it look like an epic showdown was about to happen. Very cinema-esque. This mode is a 4v4 heroes and villains clash across all eras with all 22 heroes to choose from. Face Kylo Ren as Obi-Wan or pit Darth Maul against Yoda. This mode is just insane and it's hardcore hero battles it's phenomenal it also lets you live out those star wars iconic fights you can be obi-wan and fight darth maul in the naboo hangars i mean how much more star wars can you get they also have starfighter assault and make sure to turn on those targeting computers as you take control of fighters interceptors and bombers in large scale ship to ship engagements in multi-stage arenas there's just so many more modes to offer like strike blast ewok hunt and, and more. But maybe you're not a fan of multiplayer. Well, this game has got a cracking single player campaign following the events of the destruction of the Death Star above Endor. And if you want to play Supremacy or Galactic Assault Mission Solo, they've got that. They've brought in instant action back from the original 2000s Battlefront game where you can play solo with bots of varying difficulty. This game has just got something for every Star Wars fan. Now, there could be more heroes and stuff they could have included. But in three years, I think they've done a really good job with this game, and I really recommend you all try it out. Over my next series of videos, I'm going to go into depth about each of the playable characters and heroes and the variety of maps this game has to offer. If you're on Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, I recommend you install it. If you don't have Game Pass, then you can purchase it for about 20 quid off the console stores, or I think it's about 15 on Amazon. It's genuinely a fantastic game, and one that will have you fighting over the galaxy for hours and hours. A great potential Christmas present. I'm going to end this video with some awesome clips I recently had as a droidica defending the droid capital ship in Supremacy. It was insane, the clones were just charging down the hallways at me and I just turned on those shields and unleashed hell. Take it easy gang and I'll see you again soon for my Kylo Ren breakdown.